<clears throat> hey, also, um, <laughs> been getting a lot of questions recently about guaranteed cabin. What is it? Is it worth it? Are they good? Are they bad? So we figured we would do a video and explain what they are, how they work, and who a good who a guaranteed cabin is good for. So Cheryl, do you know what a guaranteed cabin is? Do you want to explain it to the kind folks, or do you want me to? Okay. Okay. So a guaranteed cabin. Whenever you look at uh, the cruise line websites um, and you're going through and you're trying to choose what category on on and on, you're a lot of times you're going to see uh, it's either going to see see say guaranteed cabin or it's going to say something like you know what one box will say pick your own cabin and the other one won't say that and it'll be less expensive so a guaranteed cabin is when you you book a, a cruise fare and you book a guaranteed balcony okay the cruise line is guaranteeing that you will get a balcony room they will not assign you that room until very close to um, launch, <laughs> departure. So usually it's it's two weeks or less um, from departure before you get assigned that room. Because basically what happens is um, they, they give you the opportunity to um, save some money so that they can stick you where they want you, basically. You know, um, an obstructed view, a less than desirable location, um, you know, so you, you kind of, you give them the right to, to put you where they want. Um, now the, the, we're going to get into the pros and cons, but if you book a guaranteed ocean view, you're going to get at least an ocean view. Now it might be obstructed ocean view, but you're, you're not going to, if you book a guaranteed ocean view, you're not going to get an interior. If you book a balcony, you're not going to get a ocean view. So you're going to get at least the category that you booked or more. It is possible to get an upgrade. So you book a guaranteed balcony and they are completely out of all balconies, obstructed view, doesn't matter. They're going to put you in a junior suite. Does it happen? Yes. Is it rare? Yes. But um, so yeah, that, that's kind of that in general terms, that's what a guaranteed balcony means. So now you're probably wondering, what are they wondering? Oh, what's in it for the cruise line? What do you think? Why would the cruise line do this? Uh, yes, there is a quiz. I don't know. To make more money? No. Uh, it Basically, it it ensures that they're going to be sailing at full capacity. Oh. Okay. So, you want a balcony. There are no balconies available. The only option is a guaranteed balcony. Okay. If you don't have that guarantee option, some people will choose a different sailing. And then they also, you know, cruise lines know that five to 10% of the people who book are not going to make it. So this way they have guaranteed balconies available. Okay. You know, a uh, person in room, you know, say room 7307 doesn't make it. Now they can put you in there. Okay. Moving okay. on. Now, why would you or us, why would you want those cabins, those, uh, those guarantees? A discount rate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can say, you can save. You know, a fair amount of money, fifty to two hundred dollars per person, depending upon the sailing and the category. Is, category is, is kind of normal. Sometimes more. I've seen, you know, um, sixteen night Southern South Pacific cruise uh, repositioning. The the difference between a guaranteed balcony and a regular balcony was about, I think it was like four hundred twenty dollars per person. Now it was like an eighteen night or seventeen night cruise, so that you know that's why it was so much. Um, what else do you think? Cheryl? An upgrade. An upgrade. Like what? I don't know. Inside versus outside. Interior versus exterior. Well, no. Interior versus view. ocean view, maybe? Well, maybe. Yeah. So, yes. You're, Take it you're, away, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, it's, it's, it is possible you're going to go from an ocean view to a balcony or a balcony to a junior. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. Um, Getting a cabin. Sometimes the ship is pretty full and they're these ooh. And these are the only cabins available. Wow. That was <laughs> now there are some disadvantages. Okay. Well, first of all, you're going on a cruise, there's no real disadvantage. Well, okay. And some people find these couple of things a, a disadvantage to um to to guarantee cabin location. 
you will not know where your cabin is located until two weeks or a week before you go. And, and honestly, uh, it's possible that you will show up to the ship on embarkation day and they will tell you when you check in. Okay. So if you are, I got to be midships, otherwise I get seasick or I, I hate the front or whatever, maybe not the, uh, um, the type of cabin for you. Yes. Cabin now choice. The, yeah. Good. Cabin choice is a disadvantage, right? Your category mm -hmm. and your location is completely like, completely at the discretion of the cruise line. You may get a balcony for, ins for ins instance. <laughs> However, but it may be obstructed by a lifeboat or something else. Right. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, honestly, my opinion, how long are you in the room for? Well, but, but different but people. Different you strokes, know. different folks. Okay. Um, your cabin assignment. Your cabin may be assigned to you at any time, and in some cases, you will not know your cabin until you are boarding the ship. Right. We've had instances where we were had our room number, and then we look at the app, no. and it's changed. <laughs> but that was a good thing. That was our first cruise on Celebrity, on Celebrity, which was the first uh, like the end of days. right six hundred. It was that ship's first sailing in six hundred days because of COVID. So, yeah. um, on our drive down from Orlando to Miami, we got upgraded from an ocean view to a balcony. So, I'm okay um, with that. So, um, what does this mean? Should you book a, a guarantee cabin or not? Well, what basically, you if you know that, you know, if you're if you'll be unhappy in certain areas and on certain depths, you should not book a guaranteed cabin. Right. Yeah. Every person's different, whether they um, are okay with that or if they know. I need to know my cabin. I need to make sure you know. I want to pick the location, everything like that. Um, now. Again, if you're sensitive to the motion of the ship, um, or if this is your first cruise, you want a midship cabin. Okay, you don't want a four ca uh, a four cabin or an aft cabin. You want midships. Okay, for you know, in general, first time cruisers don't do guarantee cabin. You want to pick your cabin. Okay, um, if you're going to get frustrated because you don't know where your room is, the anxiety is just not worth saving that money. Yeah. Book your cabin. Book the one you want. However, if you feel pretty comfortable that you will be happy no matter where you are on the ship and the trade-off was cheaper, cruise fare, then go for it. <laughs> and this is especially true for those who will repeat cruises as you already know what to expect. Yeah, you know what the cruise is like. You know you're going to have a fun have a fun time. doesn't matter where your room is. No. You know, um, this is it's a personal decision. You know, it's a personal choice. Now, my suggestion is if you're a first-time, especially if you're a first-time cruiser, get a hold of a travel agent. Talk to them. Let them, you know, get a feel for for the type of vacationer you are, and go with their advice. If they say, yeah, you know, first time cruise, but that's okay, guaranteed cabin will work for you based on what you've said, mm -hmm. then do it. If yeah. not, you know, um, yeah, I, I I have no problem with guaranteed cabins um, for ourselves, but again, we've been on a dozen cruises. We know what to expect. We honestly don't care if. Um, you know, our room is in, in right in the front of the ship or no, if it's that, in the basement. That of the doesn't ship, bother me, you know? but you know what? Um, I really don't ever want an interior room again. Well, because you and the you and the lights, you, you a little flashlight or something. <laughs> All right, how about this? How about next time we bring a night light? That way I won't have to turn on the light in the room if I have to go potty. Well, that's why I did a flashlight on your phone, people. Anywho, now that we've talked a little bit about guaranteed cabins, you have some idea what they are and what you know what they're not. Uh, check out this video we did video we did on how to do the research to plan that perfect cruise. Yes.